Right, let's get back into Life is Strange. Part 3. I wasn't, my audio still may be a bit messed up, but it is what it is. Continue. Alright, let's uh, go back where we left off. Let's explore a little bit. That's an alarm from this century. <laughs> so turn, can I turn the music down a bit? There we go. <clears throat> I don't want the music to be too long. Unfortunately, this wasn't a safe home, thing. My favorite cocoon. So I've already shown this bit, unfortunately. But <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call now. Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. I have. Uh, I don't have my headphones on this time. This action will have consequences. Uh, I don't want to go back. Let's, let's go back. It's actually quite cool that you can go back. It's uh, different for the game, like that. Uh, I don't want to let it uh, die, but let's, do it. let's just let's watch it again. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Let's see what the consequences is. I need to grab the flash drive on my desk before I see Warren. Oh. Flash drive, instant film. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. Flash drive, flash drive. But I can't help it. I'm Anna. Looks like Dana left me a little post it note. So she's got the drive. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. It's always something. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. It's always Welcome something. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, Dad. why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? I'm gonna go on a guess and go with Mason. Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Oh, I should have got her Watson. Note to Max. It pays to remember names. Oh yeah, we can go back. Hey Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Juliet Watson, you'd be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, <laughs> of course sick. I do. The fact that you Thanks. can go back is quite cool. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. 
I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Uh, gotta go back again. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've... Juliet Watson. I'm flattered. I didn't... Uh, of course I do. Thanks. Oh. I locked Dana in because she was... What ridiculous. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. Oh. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. No need to go there now. Okay, so I can't leave. So... Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. At least that's an alarm from this century. I told you. I was about to sleep here on. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Printer, printer, printer. I do what do I what? You just know you're gonna get caught when it gets in like this. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I didn't even read it. Should read it. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Long, long story. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> now we can leave. Shit. Ooh. That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. <laughs> No, it can have con everything has consequences in this game. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. 
I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. After all, I can call you very handy later on. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Well, I wish we could have more consequences. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. Could have rewind for it. The photos might be handy later. <clears throat> My voice is a bit off today. So who was the guy with me? That was his name. This is him by the car, yeah. Definitely. Man, I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. How could Zach and Victoria do that to- Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexed Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Yo, Max! So who needs some person posters? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. I don't want to talk about it. Jeez, you're a little miss sensitive today. I wouldn't push your luck, Warren. Not in the mood today. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. For a week, I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. <laughs> ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted oh, enough. God, this seems, this game seems very off. good, but very twisted. So you're sensitive. Ways. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say I was, it. I think I said on part one that I didn't play the, the Walking Dead game that's similar to this. But I just want to be able to play the first few episodes. You have hip taste and a quick mind. Oh, it wasn't Thanks as good nice as I much. thought it would be. I, I, I like this game better. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I don't want to speak about You're trying it. to get past this encounter. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to well, take pictures, in. especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw. Now. Answer me, bitch. What are you talking about? Well, who is this news, guy? But don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. I worry wow, about this yourself. guy is a real Do not person. analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield.
Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey, leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! No. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. This is the one I've heard about in Life is Strange. Go, go, I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! I've seen parts of like Life is Strange on YouTube. Not, never this, like, not this part. I recognize the, uh, Nathan the Prescott is messed up from a and video dangerous. I saw on YouTube. This day never ends. Oh, and I don't thanks, know any of the characters besides Chloe, unfortunately. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend only took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. Feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely. Out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least okay. you're still a smart ass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on me when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. But you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. I'm loving the scenery of this game. Can't get enough of it. Broken? Man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Hmm. Welcome home, Max. This game's going to a great start. Don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. Hmm. I think because you can rewind and do multiple decisions, it makes the game feel so much long so much different longer than the last when it's actually it. quite short. It's cool. At least we can chill out. So that's quite this isn't exactly oh, I like my that. chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Med meditate or medicate? I didn't hear that right. I don't think. It won't play without any power.
Houston, we have the power. But we need to find a disc to play. Discs, discs, discs. Deal with the missing person post is everywhere. Post card search. We had such a blast drawing these together. Right, where would these discs be? Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Good thing we can rewind. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Chloe was always taller than me. He made her dad keep track of her height. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Hmm. American flag, very appropriate. There we go. Record. <laughs> hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Oh, yeah, okay. I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were going to kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks I'm like not actually sure what the order is. Plan. But the, I've, I've, see, I've seen episodes from uh, Dad's Games with the one with Rachel in. So, so I think I'm on the prequels to Did that. Your folks, your mom, try to stop you? So that My makes mom that too makes busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? I didn't really dip too much into the story. Max, I know she's missing. I assume of the more previous than... one. Before Rachel left, she said she met didn't someone really who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from Glad her I can actually finally play it. Everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Oh, it's here. Please don't be horrible music. <laughs> I'm going to have to turn my volume down. Oh, it doesn't sound too bad. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. I'm going to get free range of looking around, oh, that's going to be horrible. Hmm. I 
haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. War looks a little bit worn down. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school. How paranoid can you get? Wow. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Hmm. That makes a lot of sense. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Right, where am I going to get tiny tools from here? Why would you have food in a garage? Shit! Butterfingers! This is for. Damn, I also need the food. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Seems a bit paranoid to have this much food around. Oh, so it shouldn't be over there. So it's... Nothing. This is so lame. Search those. I just see gun rack. Oh, switch that off for now. Yes, score. Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Oh, knock them off. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. No. Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Ah, okay. <laughs> the camera went a bit off then. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. Yeah, skills of turning time backwards and forwards. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. Nice framing, too. Are you shitting me? That asshole's everywhere. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner, 
Damn. Oh. A ninja. a ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a I, I, oh, okay. This that makes much so more badass. sense. Oh, I get it. Oh, yeah. I almost wet I recognize the hair and I don't gone. think about it. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Yep. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? No, I didn't know what to do. I don't blame you. That's some intense shit. Maybe I should go to the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk okay. jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. Seriously, I didn't blab to anybody. Promise. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. Didn't expect that plot twist. I uh, know it was your birthday last month. Oh, those bullet. There was a bullet. It was a necklace. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool. You remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera Hopefully is so Hopefully the sweet. evidence. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, I can't move now? This day couldn't get any stranger. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Oh. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. Dude, the music's not even on! Asshole. I'm telling a queen to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open the door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get Where do I hide? Let me in now. I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where else? Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe. Gotta keep going back till I find a place. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Please. One second, my bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, calm down. We'll do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do not believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Could I go back into? I've got. I've got stay here for now. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce, like now! Chloe, I'm sorry. 
I care about your mother, and you just keep pushing me. By the way, I have proof you got all up in Kate Marsh's face today. Surveillance proof. What? You best stay out of my work. Then stay out of my life. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real stuff douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? I'm going to end this part here because it's already been going on for too long, I think. I'm um, going to make a fourth part, and God knows how many parts after that. So enjoy.